Okay, and we're back. Did you, did you guys miss us? So okay, so now 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 everyone is finishing up finish up finishing up bleh, English. Finishing up their uh, second decks. We still have about twelve more minutes to uh, finish the draft. So I guess now before we start, let's just talk about drafting, you know, because we have a master drafter here, JS. Am I mm -hmm. going in the right direction? I think I am, yes. Yeah, we have a master drafter here, JS. And uh, so yeah, we, maybe we can talk about some of the tips or some of the uh, mistakes people often make, you know, when they draft their decks. So the, the number one mistake is in drafting is you set your mind on what color you are going to play before even you started drafting. Uh, that is a very, very common mistake. It pays off when the hero of the colors and the card or the cards of the colors come to you. But if it doesn't come to you, you kind of force your, yourself through uh, your preset pre mindset and then you end up with a not very optimal deck for draft. Yep. So for draft, uh, first you want to let the draft bring to you, especially on the first two packs. What you want to do is you want to uh, keep your option open and to draft the best cards out of the pack instead of uh, setting on what color to go. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. And second one, of course, you need you, you need to roughly know uh, what are the power level of each card. So you, you can refer to some online tier list. It's a very, pretty good um, guideline for you to do draft. It's generally good. So picking the best cards will almost give you a decent deck and the rest uh, comes down to deck, deck building which comes with experience, uh, learning the synergy between uh, different cards and whether it's good to splash or you want to keep it to two colors. Oh yeah, so well, another thing mono if you have a chance. I think mono is not as strong as two colors because yeah, true. Uh, every color has its weakness, so you don't want to expose yourself that weakness. So you, you want you want to have uh, two colors to cover up the weakness of both colors. Although there is this funny thing I saw on Reddit right as post, uh, this guy actually he, he wrote a, a very interesting challenge. He said, "Why don't you guys try dropping mono black?" So he he said he said he set a rule. Okay, rule number one: pick the first hero, first good hero you get. And rule number two. Pick all the colors of that hero. And number oh. three, only pick items if you have no other uh, cards of that color. So the thing is, this guy did an experiment. He, he had an interesting experiment where apparently his mono colors apparently seems to do quite well. He has multiple five ones uh, wins, which is interesting. Okay, so mono maybe, colors. Yeah. I think uh, as players' skills grows, as time goes, I, my my draft games is becoming harder and harder. Either that or all the noobs and plebs are leaving now. <laughs> Maybe. Did, did you guys see the uh, artifact? Uh, people read it. People are just complaining. And yeah, everyone <laughs> complains. I mean, everyone that's, that's what Reddit is for, right? Reddit is to complain, right? Reddit is for all the negative dark things. That, that's good things as well, but uh, Reddit right now is very it's full of complaints. So someone asked, should I drop Bloodseeker ever? So what, what, what do you think on Bloodseeker? I, let, I think let, no. Let, let, I, I let's think ask no. uh, Tawei on Bloodseeker, mm -hmm. on a constructed point of view. What do you think of that, that hero? Uh, Bloodseeker is really good if there's no like hard disables, right? Like nothing like okay. Condemn or... or uh, I don't know. I I don't see it much. I I do see some of it. It's very strong early board pressure because every time he kills a creep, he gets the uh, the health back full, and the only time he can remove it is with like hard removals or, or if you have bounty hunter, phantom assassin, or any like more buffed heroes. Early game, he's very strong in in, in any lane you put him on, but yeah. then it feels like he falls off. His his signature spell is kind of kind of meh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So the downside of Bloodseeker is his signature, and in draft, if you want to run Bloodseeker, uh, not having Bloodseeker to not die, uh, it's yeah. not, that's not necessarily the best thing you want to do. So because you want you want your hero to die so that you can redeploy to other lanes when you have secured that lane. So if Bloodseeker 
and you have drafted a, a decent amount of mobility items like relentless relentless pursuit mm -hmm. uh, or bling daggers bling daggers, bling daggers. Uh, which is fine but generally i think derby is slightly better than blood seeker yeah with better signature cards yes signature i think, card I think, I think just... derby with even her passive ability and her card makes her a pretty good uh, hero killer even though she's a basic card good hero killer and good power killer as well exactly yeah all right so let's talk about wall up so earlier you mentioned about you know not uh not committing your color too so too early so there's the first two packs the tip is to uh only pick like really really good cards now by the time you're in the third pack you should already start looking at okay what should your deck look like and then yep. pack four and five is where you actually start actually building your deck from choosing cards right yeah yeah so on the third 3.5 to 4 pack uh, you kind of need to start building your deck so there's a very cool uh, mechanics that our artifact draft has i think most people still don't know uh, it's the bench bench our uh, mechanics in the draft i can show you mean the feature yeah the feature yeah i can show you guys like here so when you draft you see on the right panel on the bottoms there's a bench so you can basically throw the cards that you don't want into the bench which helps you to build your deck are uh, much faster much easier because because <coughs> you keep the cards that you want and with the stats you can look at how many creeps you have how many how many are uh, what's your mana curve how many items you have etc etc so yes yeah. so it's definitely a lot more useful to help you build that because once you start by the time you finish your third pack, you can start, you know, you can start focusing on to what are your strengths, what are your strong cards. And once you have all that, all that laid out nicely, it's easier to, you know, help you build your deck as you draft your fourth and fifth pack. Yeah. And another general rule of thumb for drafting is uh, the color, color ratio and creep ratio. So color ratio, by math, we have 40 cards in the deck and we have five, five heroes. heroes. So one mm. heroes. Uh, roughly represent eight cards, eight cards. Of, of that color and creep to spells ratio from my personal experience you generally want like one to two creep to spell ratio so roughly that's about 13 to 15 creeps that will be optimal for, for a deck unless uh, you run a lot of board players or you run spells that generate creeps like dimensional portal yeah if you have 10 dimensional portal, you can run zero creeps. <laughs> dimensional <laughs> portal itself is three creeps. So you, you can have 30 creeps. Yep. Also, how about well, one more thing? Another thing I, I think I think a lot of players uh, still doesn't get right is items. I see, I very often I see people drafting decks with like 15, 16 item cards and half of them is like what, 10 plus gold and I, I, to me personally, I can't help but feel that's wrong. So, what are your thoughts on dropping items? Items. So, firstly, you have five heroes. One hero can hold three items. So, the maximum, maximum, maximum <laughs> value that you want is fifteen. Uh, if you ever, ever equip all of them. But uh, most of the time, especially in drop, uh, it's hard to get that that much gold. Unless you manage to tailor a deck that has a lot of gold mines, has like five PA or three <laughs> three bounty hunters, bounty hunters. <laughs> and like five paydays, then that can justify 15 items. Otherwise, uh, you might want to keep it at nine and run like four to five cheap items, one to two mid tier and one to two high tier. And if you are running blue green, which you doesn't kill stuff in the beginning, you might not even want to run the high higher tiers items like Horn, Vesture, or Helm of Dominate. You just keep it simple and keep your heroes alive. Your win condition is not going to be the item, but your powerful spell. Exactly. So it be, because in draft, you know, synergies are it's, it's more clunkier. Your decks are clunkier. So mm -hmm. it's less, less likely for you to be able to make a lot of goals. And I see a lot of, I've, I've seen a lot of people drafting with like, you know, five, four items at like what, 16, 19, 25 gold. I'm like, really? And I look at his deck, no payday, 
no I no gold mine. What are you doing? <laughs> yep, so general rule of thumb, just keep it on the minimum. Cards as well, 40 cards and 9 items. Alright, we have two more players uh, waiting to finish the re registration and we have about two more minutes. So uh, if by time's up, they are still not done, uh, we'll probably have to take them. Uh, we'll leave that to the mods to do that. Alright, so, cool. And to so sort of item recently, I've grown some love on the leather armor. Because inspired by Strife Crow and Hype's deck. Uh, leather armor actually works quite decent with blue heroes. Because blue heroes, they just get hammered down by even creeps, right? Having mm. one armor, it's a lot of value. Uh, yeah, for, one for armor basically heroes. reduces creep damage by 50%. Half damage. Yeah, yeah. And, but theirs is a constructed logic uh, where if you put leather armor in your blue heroes, uh, it makes you out of the range of dual and berserker call. So that's a constructed logic. Uh, because most blue heroes are 7 health, uh, with one armor, Dual doesn't kill you and Berserker call, call doesn't kill you. And you, you fare well, fare better against uh, creeps. And so, creeps, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but in Constructed, generally you want the Traveler's Cloak, or Stonehold Cloak, or Reptile Signet Ring. Uh, these three are the health, are the MVP items for Constructed, uh, for Draft. Yeah. yeah if, even in Constructed, I think these items are quite high value, like Reptile, yeah. Uh, like Stonehall Cloak as well. Yeah, Stonehall really, Cloak. Really cheap. Like they're cheap in the market and uh, you can put it in any deck, more or less. So, Stonehall Cloak is so good, right? Just... Yeah. Get it. <laughs> Buy it. Use it. <laughs> Gives you so much value as long as you know the hero doesn't die. Alright. All... Yeah. I guess we are about to begin. I think everyone's done. So uh, I think uh, I'll call them to start. Alright. They will start, yeah. So... Good luck. Have fun, guys. Okay. It has begin. <laughs> So let's uh, shall we look at some of the top players games? Yeah sure. Uh, let's choose. Uh, my game is lagging. <laughs> my game is lagging as well. Yeah, I restarted my game. Okay, so <laughs> games have started. Okay, let's go. Let's look at. Uh, we have the top players now. Yeah, Do we game. have? Maybe we can look at Hell Screamer. Uh, my game is lagging. Decoy started. Strongest decoy versus uh, Godspeed. Ah, Godspeed. Let's see what's Godspeed's deck this time. Because previously he had, he had a constructed deck. My game just crashed. Oh. The game so, crashed. Oh so, no. So which one are you looking at? Uh, I think let's look at Godspeed. I think uh, okay, what like yeah, what sure. Zero said. You, if you look at Godspeed decks, and you will know <laughs> what is Karma. <laughs> <laughs> you have X Bristol PA Bounty Sniper, and now you are running. Like what? Parvin. Parvin, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> heroes. And by Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's see if he's a really good player. Uh, my game is still loading. Uh, I can't find the match. Where's the match? It's uh, in the top top ones. Top few ones. Oh, there you go. Top speed versus strong ass. Yeah. Strongest decoy. Actually, the previous draft was pretty interesting. He had a uh, green-blue deck. And he, was, he did pretty well in that. So, Strongest Decoy now is black green. Interesting. Okay, so let's go. Godspeed versus Strongest Decoy. Strongest Decoy, okay. Is the game loading yet? Yeah. Alright, yeah. cool. I'm in the game. So, <laughs> looks like two turns has passed. <laughs> Oops. No, one turn has passed. No, no, one turn. We're now mana four. This turn two. And all their heroes are gone. Oh, wow. Godspeed's hero are gone. Godspeed's hero are gone. Oh wow, that was such a crazy flop for uh, strongest, uh, strongest what? Strongest decoy. Decoy. Okay. My client is very is buggy. Because My client is also buggy. I can't see the fountain. Oh, there you go. Fountain. Uh, yeah, the fountain was hidden. Yeah. Okay. Valve, Gaben, please fix. So, <laughs> wow, basically everything died. Yes. And mid lane is going to be dealt so much damage by uh, by strongest decoy. Yes, and it's especially if Janetta procs as well. So the question is, how, how did Enchantress kill a hero? How did Enchantress kill something? 
<laughs> he uh, had, uh, let's see. Probably Tre- a, trebuchets? I, I, I think it's grazing shot. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Strongest decoy. Let's see. Yeah. So, strongest decoy probably. He's probably grazing shot against uh, someone. Uh, Necro like probably. Necro. Probably against Necro, yeah. Yeah. Because Necro no, is 6 self. He, he still health. has his grazing shot. Oh, but we could, if you no, join. No, can't see because the deck doesn't show. If you join after he used the grazing shot, then. Ah, then, okay, okay. Yeah. Understand. So, okay. yeah. That is please the bow. only reason. Gaben, please fix. Yeah, that is the probably the only play that he can kill. Necro like. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he grazing shot hey, and kill. Hey, look at. Did, did, I think did, the stronger this decoy just played and paid a payday, right? And he yeah, bought, he got a payday. Yep, so and much value on it. Film and more. Oh my gosh, wow. Stronger's decoy is way, way, way ahead. So, I guess, like you said, it's karma for uh, Godspeed. <laughs> karma. Karma this, is a bitch. This karma is hitting really hard. Yeah, man. Mana 5 horn with alpha. I think you can't beat that. It's like mana 5. Wow, that's some crazy early game uh, horn. Okay, so, so where do you drop the horn? I think you drop it on the last lane. Mid lane Looking is at the well, current board state. Middle lane uh, or last lane? I think that's either middle or last because lane one is not exactly ahead. Although he might horn just to, uh, I guess, push if he wants to. Well, he has Green Seraphim light. shield as well. He can he can really stall it out. Yeah, man, Seraphim yeah. shield. <laughs> and Maul. Okay, so he might horn right. I think even that, well, I, I don't know what done. Uh, let's see on the play. So what he even if he wouldn't right, I think he probably might commit on the right. So what I think is you horn to the right. And middle, you have way to remove Tide Hunter, right? You have Intimidation. Trebuchet mid. Uh, yeah, you play the sensor first. Sensor and trebuchet mid. Yeah. I think that's a play for uh, strongest decoy. Yeah. And then, that way you have pressure on both lanes. Yeah. So you basically just give up the first lane. Yeah. For strongest think, decoy. Yep, I think that's the play. Okay, Godspeed has one thunder height. Oh, strongest decoy has two thunder height. One more in the deck. Yeah. So both of them has thunder height. Both of them have Oglody as well. Double so, okay. Okay, let's see what is the win condition for Godspeed right now. Now he's probably thinking that he is even uh, before he see the play of the Horn of Alpha. Oh, he put Trebuchet right. Yeah. So, Godspeed has a lot of uh, money, uh, econ generating items. He's got three tracks. I mean, he's got track and two paydays and two iron fork, but and he has late... Nick Tasha's guard. Yeah, Nick Tasha's guard, but his late game doesn't look so great in terms of items. Yeah, I think he's this this deck with his previous heroes are. Very <laughs> <different>. <laughs> yeah, I think with the previous heroes, it'd probably be a lot better. <laughs> so so much better. Karma hit really hard for Godspeed. He has the Tide Hunter who doesn't kill anything. He's got the uh, Farben who doesn't kill anything. Doesn't really, yeah. doesn't really ge- uh, generate as much gold as he would want. Indeed, indeed. Well, I think, yeah, so since he saved the horn, so horn is coming down this lane. Yeah, I think he might horn right. Oh, Aquila, okay. Sensor. And then horn on the uh, PA. Mm, P- or you can horn the uh, there be and then Seraphim shoot. <laughs> and do you want to share Seraphim shoot this lane? Because I don't it, think so. I think maybe you, you horn your, that B. I think you horn the PA. Let that be die. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah, PA. There we go. Although another thing you can do is maybe you horn that B. Let that be die. That be mid and horn mid. So yeah. Hmm. Double push. Yeah. That, that that's a fair. There's another yeah, alternative yeah. as well. Yeah. So that way you have you know access to horn in right and mid. Yep. 
Because he because uh you come back to the uh the thunder height right anyways. Yeah, he had four mana with the Tyler Active Sensor. Yeah, an X and five. So I think Godspeed has to play for the middle lane. And he has Yeah, he has to play for middle lane and continue his pressure right uh, left. Oh he he has no <laughs> no, creep no, no creeps, no heroes. He has no red cards in his hand. Well, it depends. If let's say he let's see this draws a red card. What can, what can you do though? What what are his red cards? He got what rebel he instigator, ogre conscript, kraken shell, mercenary exiles, smash their defenses. It's not nothing that can really help. That's a pretty bad red. That's a very red. big. That's a very big splash. And yeah, why would Tide Hunter? I mean, he probably might have been better <laughs> to just play Debbie as well. <laughs> four Debbie, one Farvin. <laughs> or just sorry, four Black. Yeah. Or a triple Debbie, trio Black. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been better than a than a Farvin, but he's got like Thunder High and. True, yeah. true. But I think his red is just too weak. Yeah. So the idea of splashing tight, usually you want to uh, put tight at the lane that is lost and you use tight to try to stall. To stall, exactly. Yeah. But he's not reaching that point. Yeah. So for Godspeed to win, I think his, his win condition is to play for the late game. Yep, exactly. And hopefully with Nick, Ta Nick, Nick Tasha's guard, he can probably take over some of I think he will never reach that point. That <laughs> may be true. Probably <laughs> not. Uh, he will never reach that, that goal. I think maybe letting Thunderheart die and moving him to play. Oh, he's keeping alive. It, it's called Tight Hunter. <laughs> sorry, Tight Hunter. <laughs> what did I say? Thunderheart. Thunderheart. Oh, <laughs> Tight Hunter, sorry, yes. Tight Hunter, Thunderheart, red. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think letting Thunderheart die and just defend right it might be the better play. And what just once deploy it, right? I think he has to win the middle. He cannot give up middle. True, true. You give up middle, you lose. You lose. <laughs> true, true, true. His middle is dying as well. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, bottom lane is pretty much a wash here for strongest decoy. So it's the mid lane then. Mid lane is the lane to compete. Yeah, I guess kind of uh, sorry, high hunter mid lane is probably the important <laughs> thing. Yeah, I don't think that's what you need. Yes. But at the same time, uh, middle the right lane has a very big hole in the middle, <laughs> where bounty hunter can hit really hard. Yep, indeed. And or, since he's, well, it depends if he deploys his heroes right, he can probably plug it up. Oh, double uh, right as well. There we go. The hole is plugged up. So yeah, on the on the right lane there's this trebuchet, right? If you wait thirteen turns, it will kill the kill the tower. <laughs> <laughs> thirteen turns. Well, yeah, turns. That, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not wrong. Yeah, so game Eventually. is far from over. Indeed, indeed, far from over. And next turn, uh, Thunder Height is coming. Yep, for both players. Although I would say God Speed only has one Thunder Height. So both of them has one thunder height at the moment. Yeah, but uh, but got strange uh, strongest decoy can always draw another one. Plus he has torn, so yeah. he has more thunder heights than uh, God speed. That's right. Grazing mm. shot. Can you upkeep kill anything? Not really. Uh, I think you kill yourself here. <laughs> nah, you don't, you don't kill yourself because you are dying anyway. Hmm. That arrow for Debbie is <laughs> kind of bad for Godspeed. I think that's fine. Alright, it's not the. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of bad, you're correct, because it, it prevents the lethal on the tower. Exactly. He would have much prefer lethal here. Instead of just Debbie dying for nothing. Yeah, but I think uh, this tower will just eventually die. It will, it will. I think saving Debbie is not a good play here. Exactly, you, should, you want to move Debbie out yeah, to mid. Debbie to mid. 
because this 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 lane is one already. Dot speed. So saving the ability is probably not the thing to do. Track. Mm. Oh, is he gonna try and kill him? He's got a grazing shot. You can't. No, he can't kill him. Yeah, There's seven mana. It's an upkeep. No, it's not enough. I said he has three armor. Oh yeah, three armor. Oh yeah, I didn't know this was three armor. Yeah. It's an upkeep kill on uh, Magnus next turn with the Heartstopper Aura. Or he can know or he cannot. He can't do that. Yeah, right. next turn is upkeep kill by heart. Yeah, you're right. Heartstopper Aura. Aura. Maybe this one is keeping Debbie alive. I don't you think you kill Magnus here. Kill. You want Magnus to not die, and you want yourself to die. True. True. Because you want Magnus to be stuck here, right? Yes. And you look at your middle lane, you have one hero. And if Magnus dies, uh, Strongest Decoy can have four hero middle. Yep. GG. Intimidated. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay. God doesn't look good for Godspeed. And is that... Oh, it's not enough. Next turn, Thunder Hide. So, Godspeed. I think it's Light Stout. It's probably Godspeed. Is there any other place for Godspeed that he can salvage mid? Uh... If he kills this tower this turn, then... <laughs> oh, that's another way. Uh, that's... That, that's a way. Yeah, if he can kill it. But I don't see any way of, of killing this tower this turn. Even there's no creeps here, you can't kill it. Yeah, none of damage. So I think uh, rather it's probably quick... over for gas speed. Yeah, rather quick game. Unless of course he draws enough minions to block mid. You don't have heroes to play a minion. Oh wait, he's not. Yeah, he has no heroes to deploy. You're right. GG. Fifteen. Fifteen. Two. But it's, there's too much armor. There. The refuge saving lives. Yeah, refuge. Yeah, it's not enough. GG. Yeah, I think I think that's GG. Looks like you need our help. He's not gonna give up. He's gonna try. And there's no reason to give up, right? Uh, oh, but I think he doesn't, he doesn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the thing is, God's speed should know is GG. Uh, no hero support. It depends on the creeps. If God's speed doesn't know creeps. that, God's speed doesn't know that uh, he has Thunder Height in hand. Uh, why is Bounty Hunter playing first lane? Yeah, why not mid? And you see a lot of curves. Oh, the creeps. <laughs> oh, okay. That's... He should have went mid. Yeah. <laughs> Stronger decoy, no. Was this well, a throw? There's still a Thunder Height, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. True, true. That's BM. <laughs> BMing, I guess. So if you, if you BM, you cook, cook yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you can cook yourself just BM. And you discard a thunder height. <laughs> <laughs> Fail BM, man. Oh, look at all that gold. It's a bit too all late for that. All that gold. Has he been saving gold for like? How 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 he did had, he get he sixteen? He hasn't been gold? buying items. He had eleven gold last round. Then he killed the Magnus. Ah, then okay. the play date. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, right now, the strongest decoy is just making sure that he he did his maths correct. <laughs> I mean, Thunder Height is fourteen. So yeah. Unless of course <laughs> the arrow. Wait, the arrow is enough. Even even with. Yeah, it's GG with a siege. Okay. Okay, that works as well. <laughs> that's a more yeah, safer. Yeah, there's not one, one way to do it. Although Thunder Hype would have been cooler though. Alright, that's GG. Let's go to uh, some other games. So Godspeed, not as lucky with his drop this time. Karma. karma. Yep, Karma. So let's look at the uh, Buta... What's the name again? Butua guy. The... Oh, so we look at someone else. Let's look at someone else. Yeah, someone else. Are... Let's, look at, let's look at V011. Huh? V011. To get her and yeah, <coughs> let's watch together. Let's see where is he. What's he against? Who's he against? He's against together. Oh, together, right? To let's get, go. It's to, to get, get her. To get her. <laughs> <laughs> to what get her. Name? What a name. 
All right, I I never realized together you can <laughs> do a wordplay. Hey, hey, wanna be together? Oh wow! <laughs> oh, okay, just to get her echo slam. Just tune into a great echo slam there. Yep. Hey, see how 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 is the game like right now? Oh, it's still pretty much no 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 tower kills yet, but. There's going to huh. be one. One, one is coming. V zero eleven seems to be ahead in terms of tower health. There's two towers that's almost dead. Uh, two tower here is almost killing. To get her is only killing one. Although yeah, with the uh earth, with the earthquake, the echo slam, hmm. they might be. Oh, <laughs> and of God. Oh God. Can you uh combat view the tower? Uh, so, sorry, assassins view the tower. Yes, you can. Uh, but. Where, 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 where's the assassin build? On the uh, Debbie. Oh, but you have your heel has to be unblocked. You cannot. Okay. You, can, you cannot go past it. Okay. Yeah. So one once is blocked, it will always be attacking the blocker. So let's see if. But you look at this wall of together to get her. This wall of red yeah. hero, it's very hard to get past. And with Oshaker. Yeah. So let's see if V zero one one has any direct damage. He has one Ophelody. Alright, that's one way. Kill the heroes. Remove the wall. Huh. Do you just send back the uh, Lycan here? Probably Lycan. What did uh, what did to get her play to lock his cards like that? Lost in time. Yeah, he is. Yeah, very, very right. Lost in time. Okay. So, draws raise. I think you have to battle it an hour to the first lane. Place a creep to yep. the first lane. Just to defend. There you go. Good, the blocks one. <laughs> okay. And then he can probably compel. I think you draw here. Are another thing you you can save the compel for a first turn, but first first lane. But I think yeah, you draw I would here. Have, I would have saved compel for first lane. And look what he has drawn. Annihilation. <laughs> the Annihilation. Does he have initiative though? No, he doesn't. It doesn't That's matter, okay. right? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. he Actually, can, can V11 draw something that punishes that? Yeah, he can draw gank. Yeah, gank punishes uh, gank, his, his yeah. losing initiative. Kill, kill the... Earthshaker. Kill the So... Based on a uh, together perspective, I think you annihilate here. Yeah. Yes, you have to, but you still. Hmm. Eventually. Thanks to the trebuchet. Yeah, trebuchet yeah, is. Yes, uh, to two turn o'clock. Yeah. So. I think what is a good play? You annihilate here. Next turn, you drop your two red heroes. And please yep. bring the trap to the right. Yep, yep. So if he just bring the trap. He has hey, no, wait, he does have it. Sorry, my bad. Yes, you're right. It's in his hand. Right. Or you can yeah. wait. You can wait. You don't need to play it right now. You so raise. Raise? Oh, yeah. You yeah. can play the race. To remove the. Oh, yeah. Uh, race to remove the trap. Yeah. yeah. That's one way my time. Three buckets. And, and then you fissure on Earthshaker. Keeps him alive for another round. Yeah, Fissure as well, yeah, you're right. Fissure keeps him alive. Uh, based on together perspective, it's probably better to annihilate this turn because you want to drop your red hero here next turn. Yeah. Because you, if you spend the race and your opponent drop a thunder height, you, 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 you lose. It's true. Your opponent has 9 mana, so you, you, it's, a, it's a tough decision here for... Actually, he has no thunder height. Oh, he has no thunder height? Okay. Yes. So V11 has not done the height. There you go, Annihilation is there. Yeah. Alright. I think that's the right play. That's and a double nice, red here. Just to nice push amount of gold there. Down, hopefully. Yeah. That's a that's a play to that's a play to win. Yep. And then how about his right lane though? what do you think he can do on right lane? Er you can play whatever. Just play. <laughs> 
I think oh. you just probably just play Thunderstorm and just keep trading. Thunderstorm kills everything yeah, because he has to kill this lane next round. Uh, oh, okay. No, because he's on a token cloud on lane one. So she together has... to get her has to kill lane three in two turns. He has race, right? So it's fine. True, true, true. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Even more pressure on that lane. But net double red is coming in next turn, so. Now I think see. you might spread your red. Uh, the consideration to spread your rate is you can spring the trap from the other lanes so that you can use your mana more efficiently. But it's probably risky, quite risky. So dropping or siege, the uh, yeah, the Debbie has siege. <laughs> yeah, the Debbie has siege. The Debbie has okay. the siege. Oh yeah. He has to seven siege. He has to kill it somehow. He has to kill echo. it. But can he kill it though? Can he kill the deck? Three heroes to kill the can deck? Can he kill Debbie? I don't think he can kill Debbie. Uh, he has duel. He but can he draw a duel. Draw Does he draw it? He can draw a duel. If he doesn't draw a duel, it's kind of bad. He has in... Nope. No. Nope. Nope. There's no way to kill. <laughs> Nine damage. Nope. No. Nope. I, think, I think that's it. I think it's a G. One more draw? No. Power barrage. <laughs> No. Can he echo slam? No, no, no. no. E echo is three damage. Echo's echo only plus three. tower barrage. Oh no, it's not enough. It's five damage. Five. Unless, uh, <laughs> V zero one. I think it's GG. Play plays all the creeps. Yeah, I think it's GG because he can't kill it. All right. <laughs> that uh, that <laughs> move. That Debbie, Debbie, uh, Debbie M MVP. <laughs> All right. Good, good TV out. So let's look at Absolute Tech, another member from. And so far, he's on. Uh, he's he's also one of the top players right now. Yeah. Winning so streak. Let's see how it goes. Let's look at Absolute Tech with blanks. Oh, we have yeah, both one power down. So now they're contesting the lane. Oh, ops. Behind. In terms of our health. Right, this looks, looks more like a typical draft game. Typical high skilled draft game. Where <laughs> one, one people take each tower. And they're both contesting for the remaining tower. Mid. Mid. Usually mm. mid. Funnily, funnily enough. Draw. It's possible to be a draw. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So absolute tech has X. And uh, yes. He can berserk a call and oh he can't. It's out of out of the, the range. control. Yeah. Out of the range, yeah. There's no one against him. So hmm. what, as well. can Blank draw anything to secure it? Oglody Vandal. <laughs> <laughs> I think he can burning oil to secure the draw. But burning oil doesn't uh, damage the tower. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. My bad. Palette, yeah, so I think I think this is it for blanks. Absolute tech for absolute C absolute CK or absolute tech. <laughs> absolute tech can play, <laughs> can play a creep. To charm block. I don't think it's enough. What 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 do you mean? As in the mid middle lane? Absolute tech can play a creep. I think it's a draw here. Probably a draw, yeah, you're right. No, it's not a draw. Unless uh, I... Absolute tech win. He can Rolling Death doesn't kill. Rolling Death? No, no, doesn't kill. No, it doesn't kill. Four, yeah, doesn't four kill. armor. <laughs> so much yeah, armor. Four armor. Right. Okay, there okay. we go. Absolute tech takes a game. <laughs> yeah, how many games do we have left? Mm. We have about three more rounds. No, we have four more games running. Four more games. So let's look at uh, who shall we look at? The the grill. 
Actually, have you have you have you seen her game before, or can we show someone else you haven't seen? Like Shadow Hunter versus the I'm, Final Destiny. I'm Destiny. in already. Okay, yeah. sure. Let's go. Yeah, I want to look at Kuro. Alivia. So it looks like Alivia is still fine. I think Central Alivia has is threatening is is being threatened little next turn, next round. Yeah, next round. Next round. Next round, uh, in the, the top lane, yeah. lane one. Area and is being better little. Bloodseeker is coming. Intimidation to the left. Oh, Oof. That's wow. Oh, that's is that enough? Oof. That's not enough. Is it enough damage? You have blood, blood rage. rage. Alright, blood rage. He has four mana. <laughs> okay, he blocks it. Nice, not enough. Okay. Central has a lot of chump boxes. Hmm. So far, I think Elyria. It's my eleven. So it's been eight. It has been eight turns already. <laughs> eight rounds. <laughs> wow. Just gotta defend mid. Is there anything Elira can do to stop the top lane from dying? Yes. Huh. Okay, yeah, creep spawn is nice. Creep is good for her. Oh wow, bounty hunter mid. Eh, sorry, blood seeker mid. Okay, I guess she's confident that the creep can save her. Yeah, in you lane have, one. You play for the win, right? If you if you you don't if you don't win if your mid tower gets down because you have a very big dinosaur. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like game might go for another round. Kinko oh, you, you can you can re-equip the mall, re-equip the mall, and to on Debbie. That should be little. The red me small on the Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's little. Small that's Debbie. Little. Small on Debbie. Central, if you can see it, I'm sure you can. Get some more value. Use the keen folk and then. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Getting more value, lol. That's All game, right. I think. There's nothing else. I don't think there's anything an Alir can do. No, that, that's yeah, game. That's it. GG. GG. Alright, Central takes this game. Let's look at another game. I think. I think. Right. Oh, yeah, so the last one is Shadow. Shadow Hunter yeah, versus Final Destiny, the last game. Alright. What's the score looking like? The score from, so both of them are three. So three they wins won each. Three, uh one win, so three points. Oh one win each, okay. Or okay, so three draws. One... Uh three draws, yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> Three draws. <laughs> okay, so I guess Final Destiny should have this in the back. Yeah, no, no. Can... Mystic flare. He... Mystic flare the creep. Did he kill here? Yeah, he mystic flare the creep in front of our Skyra. That should be enough. That's twenty. That's uh, that's game. He can't do anything. Yeah, that's game. Exactly. So. All right. So Shadow Hunter wins this one. Alright, let's go to the next round.